Hello, my name is Julie Piper, and my entry for the 2022 U.S. Event Horse Pew Charity is Magnifix Imagination, a.k.a. Maggie. Maggie is a four-year-old mare who was bred by Marsha Brody of Magnific Sport Horses. Maggie is by the sire Cimarron, who is a Holsteiner stallion, and out of the dam, Magnific Fashion. Magnific Fashion was one quarter Cleveland Bay and three quarters thoroughbred. Combined with the mixture of Cimarron's Holsteiner and thoroughbred blood, that makes Maggie one eighth Cleveland Bay and about 65% thoroughbred. I purchased Maggie May of her two year old year, and so far she is turning out everything that I dreamed she would be. Marcia and I had a little bit of technical difficulties in creating this vlog, so instead of Marcia now taking over the vlog to discuss the breeding a little bit more in depth, she did send me some information that she would like me to share with everybody. Maggie has been about 40 years in the making for Marcia. About 40 years ago, when she was shadowing a veterinarian in western Pennsylvania, one of his clients was an equestrian from Germany. Her background was in eventing, and she had ridden some international competition horses in the UK. She had a Cleveland Bay cross dam named Flying Squirrel, who was said to have multiple babies that had competed in jumpers at the international level for Japan, Argentina, and England. Getting to know this mare, Marsha really fell in love with the Cleveland Bay sport horse breed. In the later 80s, Marcia was buying off-the-track thoroughbreds, starting some in fox hunting and lower-level eventing, and then reselling them. She sold an ad in the Washington Post for some warm bloods that were going to be sold at a horse sale at the Orange Livestock Auction, and she decided to go. She ended up bringing home an unbroken five- or six-year-old thoroughbred mare that had a really interesting story. She had been part of a group put together to ship to Central or South America for an army, Shipment fell through, so she was at the sale, and she got her for something around $600. She was supposedly a northern dancer daughter out of a Tudor minstrel mare. She became the foundation mare of Marsha's breeding program. She initially attempted to breed this mare to a warm blood stallion, but when she didn't take, she decided to take up on her fascination with Cleveland Bays and went down to Natural Bridge, Virginia to see Blake Brandon stallion Levenmouth Gordon. She found Gordon a little bit too big and heavy for her taste, but her heart was captured by his half-Cleveland Bay, half-thoroughbred son, Rockbridge Cleveland, who she later brought home. The mating of Sadie to Rockbridge Cleveland produced three fantastic full siblings, Hot Lips, Magnific Fashion, who is Maggie's dam, and Samurai, who was a gelding. Hot Lips and Fashion became the pillars of Marsha's breeding program. At first, she was breeding them to thoroughbred horses from distant turf bloodlines. Most notably, she had a stallion named Mount Vidmore, who was Mount Livermore and Pleasant Colony, who produced one filly out of each of the sisters. About 10 years ago, Marcia was reading an article written by Kathleen Kearsan regarding the role of inbreeding in sport horses. She used as her example the Holsteiner stallion Cimarron, and showed how the inbreeding of ancestors deep in his pedigree multiplied their influence and provided great power to his pedigree. She was especially fascinated because Cimarron is inbred to the Foundation Holsteiner lines that carry substantial influence from Cleveland Bay and Yorkshire coach horses that King George brought to Germany and bred with Holsteiners in the mid-1800s. The F-line Holsteiners is the near-extinct direct sire line back to these horses. Interestingly, Nimmerdor, the KWPN stallion of the century, is sired by Farn, who is an important member of this family. Cimarron, of note, was also the former USEF number one leading eventing sire and has sired some notable offspring already to this point, starting with Boyd Martin's Call Me Ollie, who unfortunately died at a barn fire prior to reaching his full potential. Cimarron is also the sire of Aqua Tom, who is an advanced level event horse. After reading this article, Marcia decided that she wanted to cross one of her Cleveland sport horses to a Holsteiner from these lines. While she was browsing the offerings from the American Holsteiner Horse Association for their stallion auction, she was shocked to see Cimarron listed. She bought the season and ended up with the stallion. Early on, her close friend Jason acquired a really nice stakes-winning Comet Shine mare, 
named See You in My Dreams at a thoroughbred dispersal, expressed to cross with Cimarron. This pairing produced Bella Vista Banter and her younger sister, Bella Vista Cadence, who is currently being shown by Ryan Wood under the abbreviated name Bella Vista. Bella is just coming into her own as an eight-year-old at the preliminary level, hopefully aiming for intermediate in 2022. She has also produced a foal who will be three or four this year. It took Marcia a while to finally get her first Cleveland Bay crossed mare with Cimarron, but finally, in 2017, Magnific Simon was born, combining the Cleveland Bay and thoroughbred from his dam, Tides and Journey, who competed at third level dressage and also fox hunted with the Holsteiner and thoroughbred from Cimarron. Magnific Simon is currently available for breeding. As an interesting side note, when Dr. Shauna Spurlock was doing the pre-purchase exam on Bella Vista for Ryan, she made the mistake of saying that she would like one for herself. Marcia laughed and said, well, we can always make another. She had her daughter, Caitlin Spurlock's, now Caitlin Classings, formal Kentucky four-star mount, Expedience, available to breed, but decided she didn't want to go down that path. However, if Marcia wanted to, then Expedience was available for a breeding lease. Lots of twists and turns later, and now we have Cimarron's son, Tecate, also entered in this event horse futurity. The breeding goal of Magnific Sport Horses is to produce horses that can compete at the highest levels of the sport, but also can be enjoyed by amateurs for fox hunting, eventing, or a little bit of everything, depending on the interests of the owners. Maybe one day Marsha will also get to keep one to ride for herself. She would just like to say that it is extremely gratifying to see these athletic young horses develop fantastic personalities and work ethics, and she is really looking forward to watching their potential shine through in the competition arena. Maggie is incredibly special to both of us, and we can't wait to see how she comes along this year. Thank you all so much for listening, and I look forward to watching everybody's vlogs and seeing you at the Young Event Horse Shows throughout the year. Thanks so much.